after ours. <laughs> All right, fast forward to the future. Imagine killing viruses like <coughs> HIV, hepatitis, even the flu, dead in their tracks by shaking them to death. Well, according to scientists, it may be possible. New research determining that motion at high frequencies could actually kill simple viruses. But is it really that simple? Fox News medical contributor Dr. Jennifer Ashton joins us live. Thank you, Jennifer, come, Hi, come, for coming on. All right, so a new way to kill viruses, shake them to death. How does this work? Right. Now, first, we want to give a very strong warning here. This does not mean that people can pick up other people or, or children and shake them when they're sick with a virus. But yeah. this is a very interesting interesting mathematical model right now that was created. Um, it's not brand new, but it has been shown recently out of the Arizona State University scientists to work by almost by shattering the shell around the virus, very similarly to opera singers and breaking a glass with high frequency sound. So these shells around the viruses are their protection. And if they can be blasted apart by high frequency laser waves, then of course we can kill the virus. So I guess the idea the idea is that people who maybe become immune to certain drugs cannot become immune or at least their viruses can't to this shaking? Well, that's part of it. And the other, the, the really important thing to realize when you're working on, on any kind of new therapy is you want to destroy the bad and protect the good. So when, same thing for chemotherapeutic agents. So when you're talking about antiviral drugs, a lot of them are so powerful that they're not that effective against the virus and they do a lot of damage right. to the rest of the body. So this is one way and hopefully down the road we can target the outer part of the virus with this high frequency. Any potential problems with this? Well, it's a logistical one, and we're talking high frequency here. We're talking 60 gigahertz, which means a frequency of moving back and forth 60 billion times per second. So th that's going to be a logistical challenge for the people in developing this, but laser technology might make it possible down the road. All right. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, the all-knowing Mrs. Ashton. Oh, Thank you, you very much. It's always great to see you. You bet, Julie. Likewise. See you later. Cool. Bill? Doctors also say a simple procedure can help women get pregnant. Acupuncture. According to research, the ancient Chinese practice of sticking needles into certain parts of the human body may boost fertility in women. More than 1,300 participated in a number of different studies. Acupuncture proved beneficial in three of those studies. So it's possible.